Love Island Australia is currently being filmed in the Spanish island of Mallorca. The exact location of the villa is being kept a secret. However, the villa has spectacular views of the surrounding landscape, so it's a perfect case study for a technique called geolocation by photographic perspective. Stick around and I'll demonstrate how it's done and reveal the exact location of the Love Island Australia 2018 villa. Here's Miorca viewed in Google Earth Pro. It has an area of 3,640 square kilometres and a population of about 900,000 people. So there are probably more than 100,000 houses. And we can see that the resolution is not fantastic either. So the chances of finding the villa by brute force searching is very low. Interestingly, we can learn a lot more about the location of the villa by studying the landscape imagery that the producers have shown on TV with the help of some photographs that I made of my television with my mobile phone. The very first thing to notice is the concave shape of the local coastline. In this image we can see land reaching around from the right above our view of the ocean. And in this image we can see the land reaching around from the left also visible above views of the ocean. So we can narrow down the search location to here or here or here. Okay, so the next step is to dive in with Google Earth Pro and to see if we can get a visual match on the terrain. When we approach this area down here the train is all flat, so that's not a good match, and that's not a good match either. Let's go over here and have a look down here. Okay, the terrain here is not a very good match for the imagery we've seen on the TV. Um, And that's not a very good match either. But we'll, depending on how poorly Google Earth is representing the train arm, um, it's feasible but not a good match. And we'll go in over here, see what we can see. Okay, well that's, that's obviously a much better match than the previous one. That's a good match here, and and on the left, that's also a good match for the uh, terrain that we see there. So we've got an excellent match in Google Earth Pro of views to a peninsula on the left and views to a peninsula on the right. So we can narrow the location of the villa down to this region of the island here. Let's have a closer look at the peninsula on the left. Here's another shot more zoomed in, where you can see this scene in more detail with this peak here, peaking around the corner. When we look at the same scene in Google Earth Pro, and we shift our location from side to side, we can see the profile of the mountain peaks changing according to our line of sight, most significantly between these two mountains here, as there's another peak here, which you may or may not see depending on your line of perspective. So what we need to do is to replicate this view with this little peak hiding behind the foreground peaks in Google Earth Pro as well as we can. Okay, so when I position the camera about here, I can see this peak in the background peaking past, very similarly to this here. So that's looking pretty good to me. I just need to position that in the center of my screen and then use the ruler tool to draw a line from the base of that peak to, to the camera, straight down. So I need to extend this line of perspective much further behind me. So what I need to do is to make note of this heading or compass bearing value, 223.71 degrees and then I can shift my camera and extend the line, keeping that bearing angle the same.
223.71 degrees. Okay, we'll save this line. We'll give it a name, uh, view to left peninsula. Okay, so we can predict that the Love Island Villa will be somewhere along this line of perspective. I'll hide this line for now. Here's an amazing image of the sun rising over the ocean. When I saw this, just like Owen, I thought, SUN! Because the composition of this image is also very sensitive to the location of the camera, so this image can also give us another line of perspective. I'm particularly interested in the horizontal proportions between these three features. We can also replicate this sunrise scene in Google Earth Pro by turning on the sun simulation feature here and dialing up the appropriate date and time. Fortunately, the show airs just a day after filming the day's events. This sunrise aired on June 15th, 2018, so I'm just going to guess that the sunrise was from about the 14th of June and dial up this date in Google Earth Pro. As I shift left and right, you can see how the proportions of the image change. But unfortunately, in this case, Google Earth Pro doesn't give me enough precision on the location of the sun to reliably match the proportions in this image below. We can use the Photographer's Ephemeris website app to find the exact location of the sunrise. First we go to Mallorca and position our marker as close as we can to where we expect the villa to be. Notice this yellow line here represents the point on the horizon where the sun will rise. The next step is to dial up the date 14th of June and we can see that the angle or the location of the sunrise is not changing very fast at all. Okay, and from the photograph we saw earlier, um, I estimate that it was roughly about half a degree above the horizon. So if I dial up half a degree above the horizon, the website tells us that the sun will be at an azimuth angle or a compass bearing of 59.1 degrees. And at that moment, it was probably 6.24 a.m. So back in Google Earth Pro, I can use the ruler tool to create a line at a bearing of 59.1 degrees. There we go, 59.1 degrees. And I'll just call that 59.1 line of perspective to sunrise. Okay, so I've just dialed up 6.24 a.m. on the 14th of June in Google Earth Pro. And when I zoom in on this line that I've just created and then have a look at the sunrise, you'll see that that line coincides perfectly with the sunrise. So that's a much more precise um, indicator of where the sunrise will be if you happen to fall along that line. So in order to work out exactly where the sunrise will be in order to match the proportions of the, uh, the photo I showed you earlier, I need to create a series of um, lines at that azimuth angle. Okay, so I've created 11 construction lines all going off into the distance at an azimuth angle of 59.1 degrees. When we zoom in on the area and get nice and close to the ground, there we go. As you can see, every single line goes directly to the sunrise. So whichever line you're closest to, that is where the sun will appear to you. So now what we need to do is to choose whichever line best matches the ratios we see in this image below. 
and that's too far, too far, too far, getting warmer. That one's looking pretty good. And I think that's too close. So this line here is the best match for the ratio of distances we see in this image below. So I'm going to hit the U key on my keyboard to look down at that line, select it, and then I can right click on that and go to the properties and change the color so that it stands out. Let's make this one bright green. This green line is our chosen line. This gives us a second line of perspective so that we can predict that the Love Island Australia Villa will also appear somewhere along this line. I'll hide these lines for now and give you just one more example. Here's another image of the horizon looking further towards the right. Let's dive into Google Earth Pro and see if we can match this scene. Okay, so this peak and this ridge line going down to here is a good match for this one going down to here. And this pair of peaks here is a good match for this pair of peaks here. But one notable omission from this image here is we can't see any of the mountains further into the background here. So that means in order to match these perspectives, there's a good chance that the, the villa is located somewhere here or to the right of here so that this mountain is um, completely hidden behind the local hills. So in order to figure out just how much further to the right, we need to look at the ratios again from these peaks from there, comparing that to these ones here. If I go too far to the right, then it's too close. So I'm erring towards... It's a little too far. So I'm thinking about there is a pretty good match. So what I'm going to do is to line that up over the center of the image. Go to my ruler tool and draw a line straight down the middle of my image and I'll make a note of this bearing 289.05 degrees so that when I take a, a big step back 289.05 degrees I can extend this line 289.05 degrees okay so this gives us a third line of perspective and I can make a prediction that the villa will be fairly close to this line here. So let's save this and we'll call it um, view to the right peninsula. And I'll give it a different color so it stands out. Let's, let's make it bright blue. Okay, so let's look down and fix north. So now I'll unhide the line of perspective to the left peninsula and the line of perspective to the sunrise. As you can see, the three lines of perspective all converge on a single point where the Love Island Australia Villa must be. So now all we have to do is to zoom in. And there it is. It looks a little bit different to how we know it from TV. The villa has had plenty of renovations since these satellite images were taken, but it has the same orange tiled butterfly roof, balcony, pool facing the ocean, a row of circular hedges, 
and pencil pines either side of the villa's driveway. So it has the right look and it's exactly where our lines of perspective predicted it would be. So there you have it, the exact location of the Love Island Australia Villa revealed. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Please also subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching.